So guys, today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get your hands on your very own Phoenix, a legendary bird in the game you can get and keep for yourself. Look how beautiful this thing is. Today we get into it all. Okay, so the phoenix is one of two of the rarest animals in this game, the rarest beasts in the game, because you can't just go out and tame them in the wild. There's specific requirements to actually unlock this bird. And well, today we get into it all, guys. Okay, so you must know by now. If you don't, I'm going to explain. But you know, you can tame animals in this game. You can tame beasts. You can breed them, this, that, and the other. And it all works from the room of requirements. So let's just go back here and I'll show you exactly what you gotta do and how you can progress to a point of where you can get this bird. So, the room of requirements. This all starts well, pretty early on in the game. Uh, there's a quest, I think for me, running a Slytherin character, it was Professor Weasley that set me up with the room of requirement. But you must, you must, if you haven't already unlocked the room of requirement, you must progress the main quest line and eventually you'll get the room of requirement quest pop up for you. Get that done, people, get that done. You then, guys, have quests for this little cat here called Deke, the little legend. Okay, so Deke will then have a uh, quest for you pop up somewhere down the line called the Elf, the Knapsack, and the Loom. Now, uh, when you, well, this quest consists of you going out with Deke and basically capturing, capturing uh, beasts with your knapsack, which you have to apply to your spell circle, as you can see, or your spell diamond, not circle, what am I talking about? Now, upon you completing this quest line, um, you come back to see Deke in the room of requirement and he opens up the vivarium for you and he showcases to you guys how you can keep your animals in here and basically uh, groom them mate whatever you know you, you know the, you know the, the score what you can do you can basically get materials from them which you can use to upgrade your gear so that's the the elf the knapsack and the loom now you then have to progress the game even further guys the main quest line and then eventually guys he will have another quest for you where he teaches you about breeding this is called the fowl of the dead i think it's called the fowl of the dead yes it is the fowl of the dead Within this quest line, you have to go out, you have to buy the breeding station from Hogsmeade, and you also have to catch two um, Festrals. Quite a simple one, to be honest. You come back then to the room of requirement, and it showcases you, to you how you breed. Simple. You then, guys, will have to progress the main quest even further. And upon doing this, guys, I think I, I think there's a level 24 requirement, and then I started the very last stages of the game. The last uh, main quest line of the game, which is called, which I've got on my screen now written down, it's the prepare for your owls, O W L S. Now, as you can see here, I go into my quest. This is literally, guys, where I'm at right now. I haven't even started this yet, but this is uh, when you actually progress. Well, when you actually get this, when you first get this, you'll also get another mission or another quest for Deke. And this is called Phoenix Rising. And it requires you to come back to the room of requirement to speak to him. He will then, guys, tell you a story about Phoenix and his friend, which I don't want to ruin for you. But upon you guys going into this mission, this quest line, which is located at the bottom right of the map, you then, at the end of this, you rescue this Phoenix. So complete that mission, guys. That's called Phoenix Rising. And you rescue that Phoenix. And then when you come back to... The room of requirement he opens up that area right up there for this phoenix and yes it really is guys as easy as that what i would recommend once you get this uh this phoenix and you've opened up this area for it i'd put down a a feeding station for sure just so this guy this guy here will give you those beautiful materials now i'm just gonna um summon him here give him a little strokey strokey there we go. Land, land and get stroked. I'm trying to keep keep uh, this guy on side, you know what I mean? Level up his bar as much as I can because I need those materials. Because they're, they're for some great end game gear upgrades. So yes guys, there we have it. That is how you get the Phoenix, a special tame, one you don't want to miss. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.